Okay guys, in this video, let us see how to update documents in a collection. Now, what I've done is I have edited the find.php by removing the search criteria so as to find all the documents within this collection. So when I run find.php, I have all the five documents, Ethan, Andrew, Brad, Chris, and Debbie. So let's say now we want to update a particular document. So let's say we want to update the age from 27 to 28. So I've created a new file called update.php and I've just included these four lines of code. Uh, it, it's going to go all the, all the way from instantiating the client class to selecting the company database and then the employee collection. Nothing new so far. So now we need to update the documents which have age 27 to age 28. So let's go with dollar client, uh, sorry, dollar update result. So this is going to be a variable that we are going to store the result of the operation. So dollar result is equal to, now we are going to be performing the update operation on the employee collection documents. So dollar employee collection and then update one is the method to update a single document. Now this update one method is going to take parameters. The first one is the condition for selecting the documents that need to be updated. So retrieve all the documents that have an age 27. Now after retrieving the documents, we need to set, so dollar set, now, there's going to be another array where we specify what needs to be set. So set the age to be 28. Okay, so we have retrieved all the documents which have age 27 and set them to age 28. Now we can go ahead and use printf and then... Okay, what... Um, so matched... M A T C H E D as percentage D documents slash N and we can use the update result over here so dollar update result and a method it provides is the get matched count so the number of documents that were matched and we can also use printf modified modified percentage D documents. Now again we can use the update result but the method is going to be get modify count. Not spell that right, modify count. Now when we save this, okay so make a note of this we have Andrew age 27, Brad 27, both of them 27. So let's go ahead and execute update.php. So we have matched one document, modified one document. Now why is that? So when I refresh it, so what this update one does is it is only going to stop with a single document. So over here we had Andrew which had age 27 now updated to 28 but Brad whose age was 27 remains 27. So it is going to search by this ID field or it is sorted by the ID field. So the first document that was matched was Andrew and the age was updated. It is going to leave Brad alone because we have specified update one. Now we can also specify we can also do an update many method to update multiple documents at the same time. So now let's say we have, okay, so we have MongoDB for Andrew and MongoDB for Brad. So let's try to update these two documents simultaneously. Oh, I'm going to comment this, okay. However, I am going to copy paste that with some minor changes. Now update one becomes update many. And let's say 
we want to update based on the skill. So skill MongoDB. So retrieve all the documents that have a skill MongoDB. And now in the previous update, we saw that we could update an existing field. But here's the thing, when updating, we can also create a new field for the document. So let's say Andrew and Brad who work on MongoDB, they've got a new manager and his name is Tim. So we just say set manager to Tim. Now let's save this. Now update result, get match count and get modified count. So if you check here, we right now don't have any other field after MongoDB. So let's execute this. And there you go, match two documents, modified two documents. So when I refresh this, we have a new field manager for Andrew, Tim, and a new field manager for Brad, Tim. So that's how you modify multiple documents. Also, when I rerun this, it says match two documents, modify zero documents. So it's always possible to match a certain number of documents. However, the modified number of documents might vary. For example, right now where we saw we match two documents because we are saying match the documents which have a skill MongoDB and we have two documents over here. We are saying set manager to Tim. Now this is something that's already existing. So it is not going to update it. So the modified count remains zero. So we matched two documents, but modified zero documents. So that's how update many works. Now, one last thing is there's also a method called replace one, where you can replace an entire document based on a certain matching criteria. So we can have dollar replace result and this is going to be equal to dollar employee collection. The method is going to be replace one. And this again is going to take the search criteria. Okay, so what shall we change? Right now, okay, let's say we want to replace the document that has ID four. So underscore ID four, and what do we want to replace the document by? So we want to still have ID. So ID four. Now, instead of having all the remaining fields such as name and then a skill and then age, what I'm gonna do is just say fav um, favorite color and this is going to be blue. Now let's save this. Okay, and we can also again have print, okay. Let me just copy this. Copy it, paste it, change this to dollar replace result and then dollar replace result. So save this. Now let's go ahead and okay, do we have everything? Okay. 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 So refresh it. So we masked one document, modified one document. So observe Debbie over here. We had ID, name, age, skill, refresh. We have ID four, favorite color blue. So we have replaced the entire document with a new document that we have specified over here. So that's pretty much it about this video. We have three methods we learned. Update one to update a single document, update many to update multiple documents, and replace one to replace a single document. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.